Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to the chateau. It is a beautiful summer morning and uh, we wanted to show you what we were up to last week. Yeah, we had a great week. For the third time, we had a bunch of friends come out and join us for a work week. And this was one of the hardest working groups ever. They mm -hmm. would, they would tackle hard jobs. Uh, they were Crazy. up in the morning. Uh -huh. This is what I'd see every morning uh, when we'd get up. There were people already had been working for a couple hours, an hour or two before I got up. I know. I don't know how they did it. But you know what? Super grateful and super thankful for all of the work that they did um, with the weeding and the renos and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Now we had a bunch of different friends helping us. Uh, first of all, we had uh, the Vossers, Dave and Julie and Ellie. Uh, they're fantastic. They came, they're mm -hmm. friends from Portland, from Gresham. Yeah. Uh, we know them through Multnomah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we had the Stevens. We did. They're from Slovenia. They're American missionaries working over in Slovenia uh, that we had met when we were working with Josiah Venture with students. Uh, they were fantastic. They brought their daughter, uh, Kinsley, yep. as well, mm -hmm. who's 12. And Johnny she. And Brooke. Yeah, Johnny and Brooke, they did a great job. They just busted through a whole bunch of stuff also. Yeah, and then Terry and Sheila Friesen, who are friends from Lethbridge, back when we used to work in yeah. a church back in the 90s there. So <laughs> uh, it was great to see them and reacquaint ourselves with old it was, friends. It was. Just a fantastic group. Now, actually, the work started um, right even before when Isaac and Amy were still here, and Isaac had the chainsaw, and he was cutting down trees. We had massive piles everywhere. We did, which was awesome uh, that he did all that, uh, but... I was really hoping that these guys would be able to get most of the branches kind of all uh, cleaned up and stuff. And boy, did they. It, oh. They were on a venture of a quest just yep. to get that to happen. So. It was incredible. Ellie and Terry, uh, they, they were, were grinding relentless. branches. Yes. They were cutting f into firewood. Yeah. Isaac, too, before he left. Yeah. Uh, and, and massive, massive piles, like 10, 12 feet tall. Huge circumferences, three or four of, of them around the property. So Isaac, they got them all cut down. You need to come back and do some more now. So we have one uh, Lebanon tree that was stuck in the depths of beyond uh, that is just starting to peek out on the bottom. Um, Brooke did a whole bunch of hedge trimming and it was fantastic. And hopefully, maybe we can get the trunk cleared out yet before we go. Yeah, and by the way, we'll we don't see. have a lot of video of Brooke uh, with the hedge trimmer, but she, she went great. There was brambles behind the restaurant that were... Uh, huge, insane and she took huge. them out it was uh, really quite impressive and here you can see also the uh the bottom of the trees starting to see some light we've beginning to limb them up a little bit and they're looking terrific mm -hmm. so, every time we do that it looks more like a park yeah the, the yard is coming it takes time the garden mm -hmm. uh again uh, back to then other jobs uh, another another morning um julie and ellie working again before i'm awake and mm -hmm. julie working tirelessly on the weeds she did she has a gift yeah uh, with the world of weeds yeah. um seriously i don't know how she does it and, but... the, and the world of work ethic Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, but but it's fantastic. There's there's ivy roots and everything in there. There's Brooke again with the uh, hedge trimmer. Yeah, and that's this good. isn't just a, a battery hedge trimmer. This is like the heavy gas kind mm -hmm. that is very hard to do up over your head. And yeah, super heavy. So cleared she off, was uh, amazing. Uh, cleared off the uh, driveway as well. Yeah. Uh, now uh, the weeding, a lot of it was around the chateau, and also this hedge that's coming back. Yay. Um, and you notice this is the beautiful thing because not only did they clear the weeds out, which are insidious, like they get it everywhere. Well, in it's there. the ivy and the blackberry; they get really stuck in there. But also, then we could use some of the wood chips from the uh, wood yeah. to try to that's suppress great. the weeds. So it's really a win on. It on is. a couple of different and levels. then they hauled all, all of that over there which was super helpful because that takes a long time for us to do it back and forth back and forth oh my goodness it would i just um, wouldn't have got done and then not to mention there's all these beds around the base of the chateau um and we have iris and whatnot and the thing is uh as you remember maybe from last year we had like a thick thick um uh, a mat of ivy and uh so we got the first chunk done this year was in amongst all of the more roots of the iris um and everything just gets yeah all intertwined so we it's had to jungle. rip a bunch of the iris out but we'll replant those and uh finally i think we're getting a handle on all that crazy ivy around the base let's hope so okay now as i'm editing the video i realize i didn't get nearly enough shots of sheila so my apologies sheila one of the, another thing that terry and sheila did was they took out this fence. Uh, if you remember, if you've seen our videos, we used to have a fence that went all the way, well, it used to go all the way over here and then around here. And we took out this part last year and this, and then Terry and Sheila in one day, by the way, took out that whole fence, made it perfectly uh, flat. Now that helps us in a lot of ways. The biggest way is it saves time because we don't have to edge trim the whole thing. And I think it makes it look nicer too. Uh, also, uh, we started on the London bathroom. 
Uh, now we're going to shoot a whole video on the London bathroom. Mm -hmm. So we've only shown a couple of clips here, oh. but we have good mm -hmm. footage of uh, Johnny and Brooke and Kinsley working on this. Yeah. So it had already been basically stripped from, I don't know what year, uh, but there was still that liner paper on the wall um, and those crazy big, uh, thick concrete walls for the shower that we'd like to replace with glass. So there was a couple demo things that needed to happen um, and they went to business and went to town and got it done. Yeah, that's a lot of material coming out of that shower. And so they chipped mm -hmm. that up into small pieces and carried it out, <laughs> out to our tile pile. We're going to reuse that base, but we'll save that for the video. Yeah. Uh, and but, then we'll uh, tell you why we're calling it the London bathroom and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, it's going to be a cool bathroom. It's the one just by the servant stairs. Yeah, um, it'll be an extra bathroom for the boys. For the guys, we have two rooms. Mm -hmm. Every room in the sh we're really lucky actually. Every room in the shack mm -hmm. pretty much has its own bathroom, mm -hmm. but, uh, but there's a double suite in yeah. one of the wings in the guys' room mm -hmm. that doesn't have one. And so this will function not only for them but also as an overflow if if a bathroom yeah. stops working or we yeah. have trouble. Yeah. it's accessible to anyone. Yeah, if our toilet stops working, our electric toilet. That Any extra works once public in a while. bathroom. Helpful. Yikes. But anyways, it's going to be a great bathroom. And, and again, we will mm -hmm. save most of the footage for that, but you're getting a couple quick little looks at it. Sneak peeks. And, and tons of work. Uh, pulling off the wallpaper, pulling off the tiles, taking out the, uh, uh, what was that, the, the, the shower, as we were mm -hmm. saying. Also, uh, he took off, uh, Johnny took off the radiator, which I didn't know you could do. Oh, yeah. That's been that super helpful. That was kind helpful. of important. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And look at the... I know, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, the beautiful wallpaper. Mm -hmm. And he took off the top of the uh, the toilet, too. So there, yeah. there's Johnny uh, putting in, starting to put in some of the subways. And he got a couple of walls done. It's great. There's Kinsley uh, fixing one of our seat Yeah, covers. so our cushions for our yeah. students. Yeah, they were all coming apart. And then Dave... Dave did tons of painting. And I have only three shots. Sorry, Dave. I should have got down there and took more pictures of you painting. But he did a ton of scraping. So we have two bedrooms in the basement. And we're going to call the gardener suite. Um, and there was just a lot of um, peeling paint and, and just a mess in general. It was just dirty and everything. So Julie washed all the walls and uh, Dave started um, scraping and then we kept scraping and then kept scraping some more. <laughs> it just was a bit of a... Yeah, it's a ton of work. Now, those rooms have not been used for a while. We've talked about this in other episodes, but we're going to mm -hmm. probably use that for grad interns. Uh, uh, some, yeah. some assistance yeah. next, maybe mm -hmm. as early as next year. Is two we'll or see four how much uh, how much we can get done here if we can get these rooms in livable condition but uh, yeah they're yeah. close you know yeah it's actually I've been kind of bonding I've been down there priming and scraping and I kind of like it yeah I mean <laughs> if you can get past the hallway you gotta do something about the hallway you know the hallway's a little rough but the rooms are actually <laughs> I mean I would sleep down there I don't mind the little rooms yeah not only that we started to have some great deliveries we had uh, we had our bed it took six months. <laughs> Six months, ladies and gentlemen. And we still are missing two pieces. It didn't all come. And it isn't the right color. No. However, you know, yeah. at this point, after six months, yeah. you go, I guess I'm going to have a black bed. Yeah, there's certain things like, uh, you know, and, and again, everybody, sometimes <laughs> people give America a hard time, but you got to give it to America. When you order something on Amazon, it's going to come. It's generally right or they'll fix it. Yeah, it's Well, not a, just Amazon. It's just, yeah, we're, just we're it's, really fortunate in North America. Yeah, At so any rate, every country has its strengths for sure. And uh, we, we, here has been it a was rough. quite the thing with transportation, mm -hmm. but we finally got it. And you're sleeping on a bed now. Oh my goodness. Congratulations to you. I agree. Did this bother you? It really did. It bothered you. You know what? After two years of sleeping on just two mattresses on the floor, it just kind of got tired of the whole camping thing. Uh, so I was ready to be like a regular human and get into a bed at night. So it may not be the right color and we're still missing pieces, but you know what? It's a bed and we're enjoying it. So yeah, I'm it, enjoying it. It looks good. It's black. I mean, it looks, it's okay. Yeah. We'll it's a four it poster bed. You'll, we'll see it on a future episode. No doubt. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was okay sleeping on. Well, well you had a bed. Well, we kind of took the leftover <laughs> beds that didn't work in the other rooms and just kind of put a couple together. You so know, they weren't the, right sized and yeah. I don't know. It was life, but yeah. So that's good. Anyway. Happy so anyways, uh, that's good. Now, not only that, we uh, when you have friends here to work, uh, you got to take advantage of it. And so we had 14 tons of topsoil delivered because, as you know, the sanglier, those crazy sanglier have torn up our sanglier. yard. Mm -hmm. Sanglier. Yeah, you're wondering why we're putting topsoil. They're just really, really deep holes from where they, they scuffle around and make a mess. They forage for food. And, and like, honestly, the holes are maybe six inches deep. So you're driving on the mower and it's like, and I, I'm not, I don't mind that, but I'm worried that we're going to break the mower. Well, so, or an ankle. 
Yeah, well, or, you know, whatever. So uh, you can see there's tons, tons there's and tons. There's tons of holes from them. Yeah. There's tons of rabbit holes. Mm. What what kind of holes do we have? Boatloads of holes. You name the hole, we have it. <laughs> uh, there's Mr. Bingley. Little help at all, except he's super <laughs> cute, but he's not great with moving dirt. That's okay, Mr. Bubs. He's a beautiful dog. Uh, so, oh, there is another quick shot, distant shot of, of Brooke uh, with the head working. trimmer and mm -hmm. Ellie working the, the chipper. The joy of having uh, multiple hands here in the summer uh, is it does sort of feel like um, magical dust that's sprinkled around the whole yeah. property. And it's just like poof stuff starts, you know, happening uh, with, that we can't get accomplished that quickly. Like if we're doing one thing, we're doing one thing. Uh, and it's much harder to get multiple things done. And this just jump starts us a little farther down the line of getting stuff done. Yeah, and I think I said this last time we had a, a group of friends helping us. It's half of it. I mean, the the work that they do is incredible, but there's a psychological element too. Like, yeah, I you Support. know by this point it, we're we're coming up about month six and we're just tired. You mm -hmm. know, like we're we try to take one day a week off. Today we're gonna have to work through it uh, just because of the number of things that need to get done before we go back. Mm -hmm. And and you start to lose strength. And you lose your will, and uh, you're, just, you're just tired. It's not like you don't want to do stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just you're just pooped. That's and it's all. endless. Now yeah. we knew that. We knew that we're in for yeah. twenty years of work with this. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all good. You've heard me say it. People like the French reporter came the other day. Said, "Are you guys living your dream?" And I went, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> it's like it is, but it's also extremely hard. So that it was great to have them. Now there was also some fun. We did a little, we tried to do a little bit of fun things. Of uh, one thing, we each took a day cooking, so we got to enjoy each other's food. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed that quite a bit. Yeah, that's always fun. See, uh, and then of course we spend a good time sitting around the mm -hmm. table, getting to know each other. You start off kind of as work buddies. You really end the week as friends. Yeah, they I get, agree. They get to feel a kind of a small piece of what the study abroad uh, program is kind of like. Do you know what I'm a saying? A little bit. Like, you know, a little bit. I mean, the study abroad has six, eight weeks, so you really get to bond. And this is a short one, but still, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's a fun experience. Yeah. I think they all got enjoyed getting to know more friends and yeah. more people, and yeah. it's fun. I and mean, I, and you accomplish some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll do more of these. Um, we we've have kind of just kept them to people we know at the start because we're again we're just getting started. But someday, who knows? Maybe we'll open it up to more people. It's certainly fun to have folks help, and I know there's a lot of folks that have offered to help, so it's, we appreciate that deeply. Mm -hmm. uh, even though uh, the study of the uh, the work week was going on, there were still uh, we had lots of projects. There's still kind of regular things that you got to get to, you know get done. Like we had some deliveries, uh, and you we got some antiques that you found, yeah, which is cool. Yeah, we went and picked up some stuff that we found. So you get an old piece of furniture. It's pretty exciting, and then you realize the very top has uh, dust that's, look how thick that is. See it? Now this is my official dust thing because I'm not gonna, I'm too lazy to go inside and get something, but the weed's working great. Look at this. Ooh, gross. <laughs> look how thick that puppy, it's like a, it's like a sheet. Whew. And we will clean this better, clearly, but we're gonna get the first five, 10 layers of it off first. Happy days. And your regular problems keep happening. Okay, today's job, we are way up in the roof, right up at one of the back points, up the high point. And if you've watched us before, you'll remember that there used to be about a 12 foot bird nest in here. Very pleased to see that they haven't come back. Though, you can see that there's still lots of holes in the tile. You can see light all over the place. That's why when people say, oh, you should just seal it up. I'm always like, you have no idea how, how complicated that would be even just to get to some of these spots. So we just got to re-roof this thing eventually. But in any case, we, the problem for today is that we had, uh, we had, they have all these access points and uh, this one here, the cover fell off. And so for quite a few months, probably, it has been wide open to birds. So birds are coming in and then flying around the whole attic. And so we managed to get it with a big long pole, pull it in. We don't, again, you don't want to go out there and walk around too much. Isn't that cool? Because you don't want to break anything or create a leak. So, uh, so we just use the big stick. But the problem is how do you get this thing to hold in? So what we're going to do is we're going to drill a little tiny hole and then put some wire through it and, and cinch it tight. And hopefully it works. And regular jobs, like we gotta keep doing things like watering. We did. We have to include this shot. Mr. Bubs, mm -hmm. he goes crazy Mr. for Bubs. the water. 
So when we got home from our second swing with our students, everything I'd pretty much planted was kind of toast. So it was a bit of an endless, as you see, everything was like dying. It's been so hot. So Bing and water. He's a spaniel. He goes nuts. He loves it. He goes nuts for the water. So we just thought we'd <laughs> let you enjoy a couple of shots with him. Look at just the sheer joy on his face. He's like, please, <laughs> he please. He just can't wait. And then for you a give drink. it to him. And, oh, man. Or you shoot it and he runs back and forth like a crazy dog. <laughs> Also, you know, ongoing issues with, with rain and gutters, got to take care of those and the roof is a consistent, uh, is a constant concern for us. Yeah. So, you know, even though we got the work week projects, we still have to focus on those things. So after a rain, we go up to the attic and we try to clear out all the gutters and then we go and we find a nice divot like this. And then we put all the bird debris down there. Killing two birds with one stone, as they say. Sometimes, you know, there's trouble. And this is, I came in here the other day and I'm like, mm, I do not like that. I do not like that. You can see that they've done considerable work shoring that up, but then the more I looked at it, We've been coming in and out of here quite a bit, moving, working on the upstairs main floor bathroom. And I think this beam here looks like it's seen better days. And maybe the traffic is what's, the movement is what's made the sand fall, but it's always troubling. This is under the edge of the terrace where the terrace hits the house coming into the main floor bedroom. So we'll keep an eye on it, try to figure it out. And has to be patient with these old houses, you remember. Uh, we've talked about this before, but if you look up between the beams, that is actually just sticks. Sticks from trees, branches from trees that sometimes they cut in half, laid across the beams and then put some uh, cement on. So, it, you know, 165 years, it's not surprising that there's some movement and some of the, you know, sand comes down. So a huge thank you to all the people that flew over here to come help us out and uh, get some stuff accomplished. We uh, couldn't have got as much done this summer without you. Um, and we totally appreciate all yeah. the time and energy and blood and sweat and tears that it took. Great to have new friends. Uh, Terry and Gina yeah. Friesen again. Brooke, Johnny, Kinsley, Stevens over in Slovenia. Working with Josiah Venture, by the way. Great organization working with the young people in Eastern Europe. And uh, David, uh, Julie, and Ellie Abbasser. Wonderful to get to know you guys. Hope you'll be back. And uh, thanks, everybody. We'll, uh, we'll close out here with a nice, cool drone shot that Johnny got. Uh, Zoom out from the shot though. Thanks for coming.